Hey everybody, I'm John Granado. Mornings on the bench, ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. He's AJ Hoffman. He's afternoons on the Blitz, ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. And if you haven't hit subscribe, please do so you get all our Sports Map HOU content here on YouTube. The Rockets are going to get the second pick. AJ, how about that? How different now is the rebuild timeline now versus had they fallen out of that top four and not gotten that pick? It's a it's it's moved up a year certainly, uh, and wh- whoever they get here is n- there's no there's no home runs in this draft. There's no dead mortal locks to be superstars, but you're going to get a quality player. Whoever you get is likely to be the best player on your team, uh, at least within the next year or two. Uh, the, and and really the Rockets with, because they didn't get the first pick. To, I think the second pick's ideal. I'm not crazy about Cade Cunningham, and if you would have not taken Cade Cunningham number one, you would have gotten grief. I think this opens up their options to build this team how they want to build. If they want to build around a big man, they can build around a big man. If they want to build around a guard, they can build around a guard. Forward, if you want to go with Kaminga, I think there's just endless possibilities now, uh, and hopefully the guy that they take is is the right guy to start this thing. Yeah, you know, it, it's interesting, Jalen Green – uh, tweeted out, hey, if I'd have gone to college, I'd have been a number one pick. And you Man. know what? He he might be right. You look at the highlights of him, uh, uh, holy crap, that dude can just play. Now, Rafael Stone came out and said, we're not going to base this pick on what we have on the current roster. You worry about redundancy, although the Michael Jordan redundancy t- t- gives you a good lesson. Don't take Sam Bowie just because you have Clyde Drexler. Mobley reminds me a little bit of Christian Wood. And and Christian Wood is only signed for a couple more years, so you don't want to do that. You, you know, you, you you don't want to not take him because you've got Christian Wood. But I'm not sure Mobley is is the best pick. I'm not sure Suggs is the best pick. I'm not sure Jalen Green is the best pick. But you've got some redundancy with Kevin Porter Jr. with with Jalen Green, right? So I don't know how you go about this. I I would think that that, that Jalen Suggs would is probably the most solid pick. But is Jalen Jalen Suggs the best player? That might belong to Jalen Green. Uh, Jalen Green is the best scorer, certainly. He, if you're not look, if if defense isn't a factor, if the leadership isn't a factor, Jalen Green is the best guy available. If you're just looking for a guy who's going to go fill it up, uh, as far as redundancy, it, listen, Christian Wood, Kevin Porter, these were the best players on the worst team in the NBA. Those guys, to me, are long. Christian Wood specifically is probably a short-term trade chip. He may be gone as as soon as next year if they decide to go this Evan Mobley route. Evan Mobley has more upside than Christian Wood, in my opinion. Uh, it, it, as far as Kevin Porter, I'm I'm not let Kevin Porter's a fine player. I don't think he's a superstar. And if, if you think Jalen Suggs is a superstar, that's that's what I'm looking for. And, and if you've got to trade Kevin Porter down the road, so be it. But I, I don't worry about redundancy because, like I said, the guy you take with this number two pick, this is the guy you're building around. It's not Christian Wood. It's not Kevin Porter. We've seen what teams built around those guys do, and they finished worst in the NBA. Wow, really? I, I disagree. I think Christian Wood would have been an all-star this year had he stayed healthy. And I don't, you, you, can't, you can't guarantee that out of any of these guys. We've seen Christian Wood play at the NBA level, and I think that is the guy – that you build around, and this is going to be a, actually this pick is going to be a guide to decide for Christian Wood whether or not he thinks he can stay here and win a title with you know he and that guy as the one-two punch, and possibly a third guy that would come in and, and put him over the top. And if if you think Christian Wood is a max contract guy, if you think that's what you're wanting him to be, then maybe that's the way to go. I don't look at him as that. I, I think he's a nice piece. I think he's a very good player. I don't think he's a guy that I want to like. I want to start building my franchise around. Hmm. Uh, that's well, we can agree to disagree on that one. And the twenty third and twenty fourth picks, they've got that as well. And we know that that's a crapshoot. But sure. there have been plenty of good players that you know. I, oh, there's there are diamonds in the rough. There, the, you can find a player there. I wonder what they do with that. Well, it depends on what they do with that number two pick. Certainly, you know, if if they go with uh, Mobley, who a lot of people think they will they're probably going guard deeper in the draft. And there's guys like Trey Mann from Florida. There's guys like uh, Jared Butler from Baylor, Io DeSumo from Illinois, who I think are high upside guys that, that could could fit with this team. Daron Sharp from UNC is a, a massive physical guy. 
who's just raw and a bully and maybe the kind of guy you want to pair in a front a front court with a Christian Wood. Uh, there's Isaiah Isaiah Jackson from Kentucky, who's another a, a really raw but high upside big. Greg Brown from Texas, who didn't get a lot of court time last year because he just wasn't ready to be a big time player, but has every physical tool you'll want in a big. So I, I think what they do with those those late picks is really a reflection of what they do with that that number two pick overall. Well, and it'll be interesting after all those years with Daryl Morey, whether or not Rafael Stone just doesn't feel like they have any value anyway and he just gets rid of them. That's, that's a real possibility too. Although you would think the 23 and 24 picks are going to be – all the stuff that he that Rafael Stone had to put together last year, the guys you'd never heard of right. that are coming in here and getting playing time, you would think the 23 and 24 picks would both have some value on this team. Yeah, the, the, guy, just the, the guys I just mentioned, and there's a ton more – those guys could have played on this team last year and been more successful. I, I, that's the beauty of this roster is, I mean, you, we mentioned earlier Kevin Porter, Christian Wood. Besides those guys, it's really a blank slate. I mean, there's nobody here who should be feeling, oh, I've, I'm solidly in this rotation. No, no, you guys were terrible. <laughs> Everybody's job is up. And, and if, if I've got the 23rd and 24th pick with that team, I, I'm using them. I'm seeing if I find another jewel. 